Hey guys, what's up? Today I will be unboxing the Netgear G54 wireless USB network adapter. So, uh, this is what it looks like. It's just a little USB wireless card. It's got a 54 megabits per second speed. Camera's not focusing. Uh, so yeah. I got it for $10 at my local store. Now I'll just take this the Apple power adapter thing. And I'll just place it down that side. And I got two of these since they were ten dollars. So it was a pretty good price. So then uh just rip the plastic off the outside of the box. On the back of the box it has all the uh specs about the wireless card such as its uh speeds and which product would be good enough for what you'd like to do. Like I said, this or uh, what this one's not going to be a good wireless card for gaming and whatnot, but this would be good for um, just searching the internet and moving some files over your network or whatever, as well as just like emailing and chatting with people. Um, so yeah, so then that's that. On the side of it, it just has some information on the top. It just says Netgear. Over here, it shows that it's PC and Mac compatible. Uh, so yeah, then you just take this side here, open it. Pretty nice box. And this is just the software installation CD you get with just about every Netgear product. And then here is your Netgear warranty information. And here's just the installation instruction guide. And then right here is the uh, USB adapter. And on the back here it says stop, run the installation CD first before connecting this device. So that's always something kind of good to know. As you can see it says Netgear right there on the plastic. Or not on the plastic, on the actual card itself. Then underneath here there is a uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a Velcro thing or if you wanted it on the side of your computer or something. And then, uh, this here is just a little USB extension cable uh, that you would just use to plug this into here and plug it into your computer if you wanted to. Uh, so then that's that. Now you can just take this here and you just rip that off, run the installation CD, and then you're done. So that's the uh, Netgear G54 wireless networking USB adapter. Okay, so once you insert the CD-ROM into your computer, uh, depending on what operating system, if it's Vista or 7, you'll get this. It's just the autoplay thing. You could go down here and click run autorun.exe, published by Netgear. You click that, and then you'll get this Netgear resource CD, which gives you the setup, the documentation, customer support, and online registration. Over here, you can also select your language, which is all these languages listed here. So then, what you're going to do is you're going to click setup and install from the CD because most likely when you install this wireless card you're not going to have some sort of internet connection on your computer so you click install from CD as you see now we have the install shield wizard and it says preparing to install and it's extracting all the files that are required for installation of the wireless card still extracting. And also depending on your computer's specifications, this will take either longer or it'll go faster, depending on your computer really. One thing I would like to mention is that this is also a Mac compatible uh, wireless card. Yep, and now we get the, or the Netgear wireless adapter set up. Uh, just click I agree, and then I click next. And the express setup is always the best one to do unless you want to 
add just like just the driver or the application itself. So you click next for the express one, which is what I always do. And now it says the wireless USB adapter setup is performing the requested operations. And it says right here what it's currently doing. And here's a progress bar on that. And it puts uh, program files in there and creates a shortcut on your desktop, which is right here. And it should ask you to insert the wireless card. Insert the USB adapter into your computer. So what I'm going to do is go down here and plug it into the end of this cable. As you see, the computer has recognized that it is there. Uh, now we'll click Next. And now it's just doing the system initialization. And it tells you to wait for that to complete. Now Windows tells you that the driver software was successfully installed. And now it says connecting to your wireless network. Smart Wizard has detected an AP router gateway that supports WPS Wi-Fi protected setup, yada yada yada. Would, uh, and then there's, if your router supports that, you can use that. Uh, if you don't, you can enter the wireless information in yourself, which I'm just going to do that, and click Next. And then you'll see the, all the networks that are available in your area. So we'll just click My Network, and then click Next. Now we will type the password in, and click Next, and Finish. And now it's validating the settings, and down here you can watch the progress of the... Um, connection. It's because it's connecting to your network. And then you get the Netgear Smart Wizard, which is the application that basically manages it. And it tells you what wireless network you're on and all that stuff. And it tells you your speed. And then it should say that we are connected. I believe this is green once it's connected to the network. And now, as you can see down here, we are connected. And we should have internet access. as well as local area network access. And it looks like it's working. Okay, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.